Welcome to Coder Jojo Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Those of you that have been with us for the last several weeks know that we have been working with the computer language HTML to develop our very own website. Last session, I introduced CSS, and today I'm going to continue with CS CSS to help you to stylize your own personal website. Looking at our HTML code in the Glitch program, I do need to share with you that I am disappointed that with all my HTML code here, when I come to the actual website and what it looks like, I click on the KFPL YouTube and it continually says this content is blocked. I'm not sure of the reason despite multiple attempts at trying to find the reason why this website will not show up. It doesn't. And so what I tried to do was copy and paste all of this code into Notepad or Text Editor and the link to the KFPL YouTube website does work. Not sure about firewalls, etc., that might be preventing that from happening, but if you run into a similar problem, you might want to just copy and paste your code into Notepad or Text Editor and run it from there. I have returned to the Glitch website to write my code because I do find that it finds errors for us a little more easily. But if it becomes too problematic, we can always switch back to just using Notepad. To get started, this session we're going to work on changing the font color size, and type on our website. So once again, we're going to be working within the head area of our website and again in the two style tags. Our selector this time is going to be P, meaning that we want to change all of the text that is within any P tag in our document. We'll use our curly brackets. The property we need to use is simply color. Although I know it seems like it would make sense to say text hyphen color, that's not the way it's done. We simply use the word color and HTML knows that means text color. We remember to follow by a colon and I'm going to use the value green today. I don't think it's going to look very attractive but it will stand out to help us make our point. Followed by our semicolon and curly bracket. Let's get to work actually changing the color of the text in our paragraphs. So we are back up here in the head section. We can see that we've already got the style opening and closing tags. So we're just going to go here and enter a new CSS rule. We have to choose a selector. It's going to be P for paragraph, meaning we're going to make this change to the text in all paragraphs on our website. Next is the property. The property, as I mentioned, is simply color, and color refers to text color. Colon, what color am I going to choose? 
Well, I'm going to choose green just because it will really stand out. It won't look great. Semicolon. And you can see over here, it's already changed the text in these two paragraphs. You'll notice nothing changed here. And that's because this is not a P tag but instead it's a table. So we haven't changed anything there. Going forward, we also would like to change the font size. We're gonna go right into the CSS rule following the colon, semicolon, and we're simply going to say font hyphen size, colon, and I'm going to make it 30 pixels. That will be quite big, but again, for the purpose of our work here, I want it to stand out. And we'll do a colon as well. So you can see that has changed the size. Now, we're wanting to change this type of font. So for this one, we're going to stay inside this same CSS rule, and we're now going to add font hyphen type. Colon, and I'm gonna say Helvetica semicolon, and we're done. We've now changed the font color to green. Let's try something else and see if we can make it look a little better. How about um, gray? I don't know how we spell gray for the purpose of this. Here it is, gray. Um, I might like that a little better. Let's try dark gray. There, dark gray ends up looking quite black actually. So we'll change that once again. I'm gonna say blue this time. And there we have it in blue. We can change everything a little later. I think I would like to add an underline to my H1, 2, 3, and 4. To do that, we're going to stay in the same area in the head section. We've already determined that we're changing style. We're going to type what we want to change. I want to change H1. H2, maybe H3. Then we do our curly bracket, and I'm going to say border hyphen bottom. That's going to be our property, colon. We'll type in that we want it one pixel. We don't even need PIX, just PX is fine. Space, let's tell them the color we want our underline. Solid black. And you can see over here, each of those headings does have a line underneath in solid black. You've probably guessed we can also add border hyphen right colon one pixel solid black and you can see what we've done is sort of made a box obviously you figured out that we could also do border left 
or border complete with no other parameter and would go, it would go all the way around. That's it for today. You can practice on your own websites to see if you can start to get them looking more attractive and professional. I might play around with the colors in mind to get something that I think looks a little better. But for now, this is the HTML code that I've used to make this website. We'll see you for the next session.